Hey, it's the Midnight Rant, and today we're doing another list challenge. I know you guys like the chrono photo ones, and don't worry, another one is coming very, very soon. Also, I want to try some other videos like this, so I have some ideas in the works, so stay tuned for that. Today we're doing a list challenge of the top 50 desserts. Now, I have a sweet tooth. I do like things that contain cookie dough, chocolate, sprinkles, a nice gooey center, and today we're going to look at the top 50 desserts on this list. So this is a list made by, does it tell me? Hang on. Uh, this is a list made by Cheesy Chips. Even the person's name is amazing. So this was a list made by Cheesy Chips. And there's top 50 desserts. And the average is 28. So we're going to see how many I have tried, how many I like. You can share your opinions in the comments if this is not a premiere. Or share your answers in the premiere. And I will hopefully be in the chat commenting as well. So let's take a look at how many of these 50 sweet little desserts I have tried. So apple pie is the first one. Now there's this saying that nothing tastes better than mum's homemade apple pie. And I'm not a big fan of using apples in desserts. I find sometimes that apple desserts are so sweet. Now my eldest loves an apple pie. Apple pie all the way. Home baked, shop bought. He's an apple pie connoisseur just not for me now cheesecake cheesecake is okay but i don't like the consistency of it i don't like my my cheesecakes um really i don't mind the biscuit base the biscuit base is kind of nice but the cheesecake itself i find is like too squidgy too gooey it has a funny texture i i, I don't personally like it Banana bread. Now, I've never actually had banana bread, but banana bread became a staple during the pandemic. I don't know why, but everyone was making banana bread, like left, right and center. Just everyone and their aunt were making banana bread. I'm not a big fan of bananas. Um, again, it's a squidgy consistency. Next, we have a carrot cake. Now, I've never had carrot cake. Um my ex used to love carrot cake. My youngest likes carrot cake. I personally have never tried it. Um, I don't know about having vegetables in cakes. Um, to me, it's a little bit of a weird concept, but, you know. Okay, coming down here, lemon meringue pint. Now, I don't like lemons. I don't like the bitterness of a lemon. And the meringue top isn't my kind of thing either. Now, a cherry pie, you're going to say, but a cherry pie is very sweet. And they are. They're very sweet. Um, but I do love a cherry pie. It just has to be a very small portion, like a very tiny little slither of a cherry pie, like a like a tiny little slither, not like a chunk. Um, usually topped with, like, custard or something. Now, I do love a brownie. For me, a brownie, the crumblier, the better. I'm not in for these like hard dough brownies that are like rock solid and you have to like bite them. I like it where you just sort of pull apart of it and it crumbles. Never had a tiramisu. Tiramisu, I believe, does contain a lot of cream. And I'm not for one for that cream taste because it's too rich for me. Um, but I've never had a tiramisu. Toblerone. I've never had a Toblerone either. My kids and my, my ex will say that they had a Toblerone every Christmas, which they do get every Christmas. They get a Toblerone in their stocking, but I have never had a Toblerone myself. Now, baklava is um, it's a pastry, and it's a pastry from country's baklava from baklava is a turkish dessert and it's a layered pastry made of phyllo filled with nuts and sweetened with syrup or honey but again um i'm not a fan of nuts and it looks more like a main than a dessert it, it's just not me now gelato um 
I've had gelato. Um, I prefer actual ice cream compared to gelato. I find gelato, again, very sweet. Um, and I prefer having actual ice cream ice cream. I find it less rich and less creamy. I've tried mochi. Oh, boy, have I tried mochi. Uh, they were selling mochi balls in Tesco's. Um, and um, my son's girlfriend bought them. And oh, they're called moons, I think, in Tesco's. Moochy moons. And they're like um like a really weird consistency. They have like a a weird outer sticky shell on them, and nah, they just weren't for me. <laughs> right, I do like a trifle. You gotta have your lady butterfingers. You gotta have your your jam and everything, and then you gotta have sprinkles over the top. Nothing tasted better than my nan's trifle. Chef's kiss to my nan's trifle. Christmas was always Christmas pudding or Nan's trifle. Now, waffles. Are waffles a dessert or are waffles a breakfast? What's the debate? Do you eat waffles for dessert with, like, some syrup and all that on? Or do you like waffles for breakfast? Because people are going to say that breakfast waffles and dessert waffles are two entirely different things. And I don't know what the difference is apart from maybe... A dinner waffle, you'd put chicken on it because I know Americans do chicken and waffles, which also is a weird thing to me. Um, chocolate mousse. I've had chocolate mousse. I do find it a bit rich and a bit sickly. Again, it's the cream mostly that I find a little bit off-putting. Um, I don't like overly rich, sweet, creamy things. Apple crumble. Now, if it was an apple and blackberry crumble... It would be fine, but apple crumble itself to me, I don't like. It's not that I've got anything against a good old crumble. I just prefer the apple and blackberry because the blackberry sweetens the like apples a little. Um, I've never had a pavlova. I know it's a meringue of some description, um, but I've never had one. Sticky toffee pudding I've had, but again, I find it too sweet. I like my desserts a little less intense with the sweetness, um, but I'm not exactly having a bowl of fruit either, you know, to be bland. Apple cake, again, I'm not a big fan of apples and desserts. I do like a nice cake, though, but not apple cake. Bonoffi pie, again, I love pies. I'm a big fan of pies, but it's banana, and I'm not a big fan of coffee. And I can be very picky when it comes to a dessert. I, I may go to many places and not even have dessert. I do like a jelly. There is nothing like being a kid and having jelly on like a weekend or after tea. And mum comes in. And the best jelly was getting the double wham jelly where mum would have done two. So you'd get like a green and red and then you'd mix them up. And oh, to be a kid again. Creme caramel. I've never had creme caramel, but judging by the look of it, it's sweet. <laughs> this is like sweet sugar overload. Yule log. Who hasn't tried at least a Yule log for Christmas? Topped with a nice robin or what looks like a gnome cutting it. I've never had panna cotta, although it does look nice, but I've never had a panna cotta. Uh, bread and butter pudding. I've never had either, but I'm, I'm going to guess it's bread with like some fruit in it. I don't exactly know what bread and butter pudding is. Um, I've had macarons before. Macarons are okay. Again, they're quite sweet. Um, but I, I find them to be pleasant, not too sweet. Lemon drizzle cake. I'm not a big fan of the lemon flavor, hence the lemon rang pie. Lemons to me are just too bitter and you have to put too much sugar in to sweeten it and then it just becomes too much of the opposite. Pasta del nata. I've, I've never had pasta del nata. And pasta del nata is a Portuguese custard tart. It looks all right. If I could get a pasta del nata somewhere, I guess it's just like a like a normal custard tart. I don't know if a Portuguese one is is different. 
um, but they are Portuguese egg custard tarts, uh, usually dusted with cinnamon. Never had one. Okay, moving on down to the good stuff. Eat and mess. No, I've not had eat and mess, but I know it's like strawberries and cream and sickliness just seems to be the dessert for the day. It's just too sickly, too sweet. Chocolate cheesecake. I'm not a fan of cheesecake in general. The only thing I really like is that crumbly biscuit base. Um, my sons love cheesecake, especially toffee cheesecake or Rocky Road cheesecake. Two favorites. I have had Rocky Road. Now, Rocky Road is a combination of marshmallows, chocolate. Um, depending on where you get your Rocky Road from, some Rocky Road can feel like it's concrete. And other Rocky Road's got that nice squidgy texture. I do love Rocky Road ice cream as well. Orange cake. Again, I've never had orange cake. I'm not a big fan of orange. Again, it's lemons, limes, oranges. That citrusy sweetness is just too much for me. Um, ice lollies. I am a big fan of an ice lolly. Um, usually I like to have like a Ribena lolly or something. Something that's not too sweet. Chocolate fudge cake. The, the fudgier, the better. Chocolate with a layer of chocolate with a layer of fudgy goodness topped with chocolate. Chocolate pudding cake. Oh, it is just melt in the middle. You literally put your spoon into it and this gooeyness comes out and it's, 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 it's like heaven on a plate. Cream cheese frosting. Never had cream cheese frosting. I'm not a big lover of having tons of cream in everything. Um, mug cake. I've never tried a mug cake. Um, you basically put it in the microwave, you put the ingredients in and you make one. Never done that. Never had an egg custard tart. My son's girlfriend loves these. Apparently they're really nice. And this is similar to the pasta del nata that we saw earlier. Uh, spotted dick. Um, some people will laugh at this, especially a couple of friends in America, that there is a dessert called a spotted dick, <laughs> which is basically just... Um, kind of suet, uh, raisins and stuff like that. Rice pudding. My youngest is a lover of rice pudding. I like my rice pudding slightly warm with a bit of blob of jam in the middle just to give it that little bit of sweetness kick. Okay, page two. I'm surprised I eat most of these. Okay, mud pie so if you're talking a mississippi mud pie then yes but i've never had like a traditional mud pie sticky rice with mango and i'm going to guess this is a delicacy elsewhere um to have rice with mango probably someone like the philippines i'm going to assume um philippines love putting like fruit with rice uh, a cream slice again too too much creamy goodness there Rolo mousse, oh, I love Rolo. Rolo is such, it's, it's not a too sweet taste, but I do love the center of a Rolo, that caramel gooeyness. Vanilla custard, never had vanilla custard. I like plain custard, just plain old traditional custard within reason. Um, I don't know what the difference is between custard and vanilla custard. Never had melting moments. I've never had a vanilla mousse. I have had macaron in this form compared to macaroons, which are the like pink thingies. These are like macarons and they are very crumbly, very sweet, very crumbly. A Victoria sponge. I've had a Victoria sponge, but again, it's that layer of cream in the middle. If it was just the cake with the jam, it's fine. It's that cream. Cream is just too sickly for my stomach. And obviously, I've had pancakes. There is nothing better than Shrove Tuesday with an English pancake topped with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon dusting, chef's kiss, or top it with blueberries, strawberries, and a little bit of chocolate syrup. So that are my 50 desserts. Let's see if I beat the average. 
So you get the 20% business you earned up for and you Twenty-nine, which doesn't surprise me. Um, I got twenty. Now the reason is probably because the ones that I didn't pick were lemon, orange, carrot, and a lot of cream, plus the cheesecakes. Um, I'm not a big fan of citrus, lemons, limes, oranges. I'm not a big fan of cream or a lot of cream. Some of these I didn't know because they're European, um, and I think the rice and mango one was kind of asian um area so if you want to like and subscribe comment down below which of these desserts did you like uh was there any desserts on here that didn't feature that you absolutely think i should try or that you love or it's a staple of your household mine would be the ever tasty and filling jam roly-poly that didn't feature on here a British staple with a drizzling of custard on the top. But like and subscribe if you want to help the channel. A PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks. Become a member. Join the other seven wonderful people on my channel. Give it a big thumbs up. It's free. And I will see you very soon for another list challenge. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.